has been a full year of school here at Goshen College. It has also been a full year of COVID, mask wearing, and Zooms. The first semester, a lot of people did not wear their mask correctly. And the numbers showed it. We asked four groups who were most affected by COVID this year and mask wearing. We asked sports, theater, music, and American Sign Language interpreting how masks affected their learning and school year. Uh, I think wearing a mask has affected a lot of different areas, especially coming in as a first year and like trying to navigate this new college environment while also having to be conscientious of the masks and making sure that everyone was safe, but also meeting people for the first time and with only being able to see half their face. It was interesting, definitely. Um, it felt weird to sing with a mask on for sure because you don't think about it when you're just talking as much, but when you're singing, uh, your lips touch the mask more or your chin can't move as far to open your mouth to sing so that was that was pretty weird and i feel like i started almost singing differently to adjust to the mask uh the mask affects both of my majors pretty greatly i think uh for example my acting class like that was harder because we had to learn to emote but you can't see the bottom half of your face and so that was really interesting trying to figure out like how much you need to project in order to be heard on stage and how much you need to compensate for not being able to show emotion on the lower half of your face uh, and with interpreting it's been interesting because in ASL so much of the grammar and expression so much of ASL grammar comes from facial expressions, so having a mask has been really hard. We've compensated by having face shields, but with glares and everything, that's also really hard to navigate. Sports-wise, it's very different. So uh, for indoor, we have to keep uh, a mask on the whole time while we're in the rec center. And in all our track meets, we had to keep a mask on while we were throwing. So like, you would like go into the ring and you could take your mask off once you stepped in the ring, but you had to hold it in your hand. So it wasn't super productive because like you use your hands to throw. But, and then for outdoors, it's at least so far, it's been a lot more relaxed. Uh, they still say you're supposed to wear a mask, but most of the time people don't really wear a mask. But I typically will wear one until I go into the circle and then put it in my pocket and put it back on when I leave. So for throwing, it hasn't made that big of a difference, but for like running and stuff, they it makes a big difference on them because you can't run three miles with a mask on it does not work i think it takes a little bit more brain process in order to recognize like oh there's this person that i met with the mask and now oh this is what the second half of their face looks like i need to associate their full face with them now and it's a bit of a process to like understand yeah i find i think i give people bigger chins than they actually have and bigger noses maybe and so when people take off their masks every almost every time without fail if it's a student that i've never seen before or somebody i've never seen before it just always catches me off guard like you don't see everybody you like you don't see their mouth so it's hard to really tell like when you're having a conversation with somebody just the emotion behind what they're saying it's really interesting to spend so much time with a group of people and not know what half of their face looks like um, like if i saw the people that i sing with in a context outside of this where we don't have to wear masks i don't know if i would be able to pick everyone out just because i would be unable to know what their mouth looked like really um and so when we were on our choir tour our virtual tour at friedenswald um and we ate together socially distanced you know, we took our masks off. And that was kind of a, a cool experience to actually know the people that we're singing with better. The spike we had last semester of cases 
really help drive home the severity for some people. And yeah, so this semester, it feels like there has been more understanding of why masks are important and when masks are important. I've felt safer this semester taking off my mask when I'm walking across campus by myself. And that's been nice because it's really nice outside and it's nice to be able to breathe through without having fabric in front of your nose. That's not something that I felt comfortable doing in the fall semester just because I was so aware of people who weren't wearing their masks in places where they should have been. So I felt like I couldn't not wear my mask whenever I was in public. I had to keep my, I felt like I had to keep my mask on anytime I was visible, yeah. Early on in the pandemic, my friend from high school started making them and selling them. So uh, like me and my friends have matching masks now because uh, like mine's purple. Uh, my other friend got a black one with the flowers and like my mom also got one. So like we we're all able to match and also support a friend. Um, I have a galaxy mask that I like. Um, I actually have been a really big fan of this mask that I'm wearing now. I got this mask from Aldi when I worked there and they gave all the employees two at first, but I liked it so much that I like found a couple of others laying around the store, took them home and washed them. And I really like this mask because I feel like it fits my face really well. Um, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. It doesn't pull my ears forward and it feels really tall and they are a nice neutral color. So they, they go with a lot of my outfits, I think. Um, what are your thoughts about sneezing with your mask oh, it's on? The, that, that's the worst. Sneezing with your mask on is the worst. Um, as much as I can, I try to avoid it. But I, I've really found that when I take off my mask at the end of the day, that's when I really have to sneeze.